her virginity and poured their whoredom upon her. Wherefore I have delivered her into the hands of her lovers, into the hand of the Assyrians, unto whom she doted. These discovered her nakedness. They took her sons and her daughters. They slew her with the sword, and she became famous among women, for they had executed judgment upon her. And when her sister Aholaba saw this, she was more corrupt in her inordinate love than she, and in her whoredoms more than her sister in her whoredoms. She doted upon the Assyrians, her neighbors, captains and rulers, clothed most gorgeously, horsemen riding upon horses, all of them desirable young men. Then I saw that she was defiled, that they took both one way, and that she increased her whoredoms. So when she saw men portrayed upon the wall, the images of the Chaldeans portrayed with vermilion, girded with girdles upon their loins, exceeding in dyed attire upon their heads, all of them princes to look to after the manner of the Babylonians of Chaldea, the land of their nativity. How much more do you want me to go? All the way? No, wait, no, wait, wait a minute. I'm Verse 19, yet she multiplied her whoredoms in calling to remembrance the days of her youth wherein she had played the harlot in the land of Egypt, for she doted upon their paramours whose flesh is as the flesh of asses and whose issues like the issue of horses. You want me to keep reading? I think that's enough. Okay, wait a minute, I'm a hundred dollars now. <laughs> All Muslims are truthful. Here's the hundred dollars. That man's got a pocket full of money. If he takes all that money back to South, if he takes all that money back to South Africa, he's going to worsen the U.S. debt. I don't know what kind of uh, programs you have here in Islam, but I'm going to give his hundred dollars to whatever you have here to help pay for this auditorium tonight. Mr. Didat, you made a statement that Islam believes in the virgin birth of Christ, but does not uh, that the, but, but that God does not beget nor is he begotten. Luke, the first chapter, the thirty-fourth and the thirty-fifth verse, explains the birth of Christ as the Holy Spirit overshadowing Mary and the power of the Most High pouring upon her. How do you explain this? You see, Brother Swaggart has suggested uh, during his talk that the Quran is a copy, a plagiarism of stories from the Bible. Now, this, let me give you this example here. A comparison between what is told in the scriptures and what is told in the Quran about the birth of Jesus, if I may. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Wa is qalatil malaikati ya Maryamu. Behold, the angel said, O Mary, inna Allah has tafaki wa taharaki wa tafaki ala nisail alamin. That God Almighty has chosen thee and purified thee, chosen thee above the women of all nations. This is the honor that is given to Mary, the mother of Jesus in the Holy Quran, that she is a woman chosen above the women of all nations. So, O Mary, worship thy Lord devoutly. Prostrate thyself and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. This is part of the tidings of the things unseen which we reveal unto thee, O Muhammad, by inspiration. You were not with them when they cast lots with arrows as to which of them should be charged with the care of Mary, nor was thou with them when they disputed the point. I will not go into the full story, but if I may, I will have to do it tomorrow night. But the verses continue. Behold, the angel said, O Mary, that God Almighty gives you glad tidings of a word from Him. His name will be the Messiah, translated Christ. Jesus, the son of Mary, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter. And of the company of those nearest to God. What the Christian would say, sitting on the right hand of God. 
We say not physically, not geographically, but in stature, in spirituality, in the company of those nearest to God. But you call them nasa, and if you speak to the people, feel mahdi wa kahlan in in childhood and in maturity, wa min salihin, and he shall be of the company of the righteous. When this good news is given to Mary about the birth of a holy son, she says, "Qalat Rabbi anna yakunu li waladun, walam yamsasni bashar." She said, "Oh my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me?" The angel says in reply. So even so, Allah creates what He wills. Whenever He decrees a matter, so whenever He decrees a matter, He merely says to it, Be and it is. This is the Muslim concept of the birth of Jesus. For God to create a Jesus without a human father, just like that. To, kill, to create a million Jesuses without father, without mother, just like that. The biblical version, in comparison, I am suggesting to Reverend Dunkers, the head of the Bible Society in Johannesburg. I had gone there to buy an Indonesian Bible in Johannesburg, and he called me for tea, seeing this funny headgear of mine and this beard, that I was interested in Bibles. He called me into his office, and I explained this to him, which was something novel to him, something amazing to him, that I was speaking from my book. So he said, look, this and the Bible appears to me to be the same. I said, yes, on the face of it. On the face of it, we are both trying to say the same thing. That Jesus was created by a special miracle. But I said, when you compare them closely, the difference between the Quran and the Bible is chalk and cheese. I don't know whether the Americans understand this expression, chalk and cheese. The Canadians didn't because they didn't know chalk, they knew crayon, crayon and cheese. Which that is not the same thing. Chalk and cheese is poles apart, wools apart. The Quran says for God to create, he merely wills it and the thing comes into being. The Bible says, and the Holy Ghost, same question. How can this thing be in, when, no man, I mean, when no man has touched me? Or oh, I know not a man, meaning sexually. The Bible says, and the Holy Ghost will come upon thee, and the power of the Most High will overshadow thee. This gives that picture to the atheist and the agnostic to be to it. How did the Holy Ghost come on Mary? How did the Almighty overshadow her? Like a man doing to his wife? How? No, we know it doesn't mean that. But the language of the two. See, the Quranic language is for God to create, He wills it, and the thing comes into being. The biblical language is earthly. I said, between the two, I'm asking Reverend Dunkers, which version would you be prepared to give to your daughter? The Quranic version of the birth of Jesus or the biblical version? And believe me, he bowed his, down, his head in shame, and he said, I would prefer to give the Quranic version to my daughter. 